So guys, the Tammy pair just concluded their diary session and watching that kind of made me wonder, oh, so you guys are even afraid of this housemate. Seeing them away from other housemates made me realize, okay, these two people are actually friends. Because the way they interacted during that diary session, though at some point, Tammy was trying to insert her authority again during the diary session, but Big Brother, in a way, not called her out, but Big Brother, in a way, gave Toyo Sun a chance. Because if Big Brother didn't do that, Dami Lola could have taken all the shine in the diary section. <laughs> Guys, I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. If you're watching this video and this is your first time, I will urge you to please subscribe, watch this video to the end, like and leave us a comment down below about Big Brother Niger Season 9. I will appreciate that. Let's get into the topic of today, guys. Yesterday, Big Brother capped off the diary session. We have the Tammy pair going in to do their own diary section. And after yesterday's diary session, where Shinne talked about how rude Tammy is, and uh, also the housemate showing the same interest, also talking about the same thing that Dami is rude, that her attitude sucks, all those things. So I kept a watchful eye to see, okay, let me hear from their own side of the story. Let me see how she's going to talk about this whole story. And guys, today she opened up about everything and I kind of felt bad for her or kind of felt bad for myself because of the way I've judged her, given that this is day three, this is day four. And uh, I've judged her because of her portraying who she is and how the other housemates have been talking about her. So during the diet section, Big Brother has already asked them how they feel being a member, uh, being a housemate in the house, and they say they are okay, everything. And Big Brother asked them, okay, how was their day? How their day has been? And they talked about their day, and uh, Toya Sin said that she, being an introvert, that she is getting to know people that she's getting to relate with people more and that she's talking with more people now so for today alone that she's fine that previous day she's been taking her back and uh, assessing the whole house assessing the housemate get to know them but for today she came out of her chair and was talking to more people that she's okay and for dami dami also acknowledged the same thing and say yes that she's happy with today that She's been talking and been and has been vibing with other housemates. So Big Brother asked her, what changed today that made you come out of your chair? And they feel, and uh, according to Toyosin, Toyosin said that she's an intro, not that, she didn't say it, but from what she said, I can point out that she is an introvert. And uh, for her, she's not that type of person that just comes out and starts talking. She is the one, she, she is more reserved amongst the girls. She is the one that is more reserved. She waits for people to approach her before she can talk. So for her, she felt like she's now comfortable amongst the housemaid. And that's why today everything changed for her and she came out to talk. And for Dami, Dami pointed out that she is an extrovert, that she likes going out. But being in a confined space with almost 26 housemates, different people from different areas of life, that she's been tensed. But uh, now she's a little bit uh, calm and Big Brother made a joke that she's even tense inside this diary room That she should take a deep breath, which she did and calmed herself down Before Big Brother started with another uh, question So Big Brother in his normal fashion asked them, okay, you've been in this house for a long, for four days now Who amongst this housemate made an impression on you, whether good or bad? And uh, for Toyosin, Toyosin said it was the guys from the radicals that the guys from the radicals has been so calm and comfortable and eager to talk with them that they've been talking and they've been vibing and that they are easy to relate with and then she also pointed out that Shinwe, that Shinwe of the Zinwe pair is that kind of housemate that she's been keeping an eye on that the way Shinwe is behaving that Shinwe is like her armor is always up and she's ready to attack and she's ready to Give it to anybody back to uh, was goes woto woto woto. But for now, she's just keeping a close eye on her. And for Dami, Dami Lola said that she also bond, uh, had an that the people that made an impression on her was the people that made an impression on her was the better and the radicals. That the better pair and the radical pair are the people that made a good impression on her. But for the pair of flourish, especially Ruti. That she that she doesn't vibe well with Ruti, but on the girl on the guys that it's better pair and 
radical pen. But for Flourish Pen and Shinwe alone, that no, that Shinwe is not giving her that good impression, that all she's getting is bad impression from Shinwe and Ruti from uh, from Flourish Pen. So now Big Brother asked Damilola, okay, you've been talking about everything that is going on. Can you tell us what exactly happened between you and Shinwe? So she started, guys. She talked and talked and talked and talked. And all I could gather here is all about these two people having the same personalities. And their personalities are clashing. They want to see who will be alpha and who will simmer down. And these two people, with the type of personality they have, even during the diet session, when she was talking, 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 she pointed it out that she noticed that her and she may have the same personality. They are the type of people that like to tackle it head on they are like they are the type of people that like to talk on every matter that comes to them so for them being the same personality and also being in the same confined space and it's going to cause mayhem for the housemate but for now she's she's just going to step back and then uh, watch as the thing goes she's going to play the bigger person role and let Shingwe be the boss and boss everybody around like she's doing right now and then she and then she also talked about the shout that led to her apologizing to the housemate and she felt like the shout was taken out of proportion that the housemate yes even though she shouted she didn't make it she didn't shout out of anger she was only shouting to accommodate the other housemates I, i'm forgetting the name of the male housemate she she said was kind of overwhelmed with the crowded space in the kitchen and everybody has already taken their food but the guy was not has not taken his food yet and the guy is kind of shying away from the overcrowded kitchen so in a way to accommodate the guy to come and take his own portion of the food she kind of shouted for the housemate to leave the kitchen not in a way of anger but for them to give this guy a chance to come and uh, and take his own portion of food and then the housemate took it in a slight way took it that she's get she's has she has an attitude or she has anger issue but that's not the case and uh, as a better person that she's trying to be she took responsibility of that and that's the reason why she apologized which i commended her for that so big brother went on to ask them who they have bonded with in the house after staying there for four days and uh toyo said that she's been bonding well with aneta and the reason for this bond is because they share the same like for movies for songs she's also been bonding with femi and everybody in the house has bonded with femi everybody in the house likes femi but for now she's bonding with aneta and for victoria they are still on the talking stage to, uh, and they're getting to know each other better but for bond is only aneta femi and victoria so damilola says she bonded with mayor tofa and for tj that her and tj has bonded over their love for food and they like eating and for the girls she said that no that she hasn't actually bonded with the ladies in the house that uh, i think they are having a clash of personalities in the house and that's why nobody has been bonding with her and she's not equally bonding with anybody in the house that is a girl except for the shaker sisters that the shaker sisters are okay that they are good people and they talk well so for the house for the guys she's bonded with mayor tofa and femi and tj sorry she's bonded with mayor tofa and tj over food and for the girls she's only bonded with the shaker sisters so my brother went on and asked her during the head of house ballot you guys voted what is the reason behind you guys vote and they felt like okay yes we voted better and the reason why we chose those pairs is because when we get in, when we got into the house for the first time, seeing how disoriented the house was, and seeing how they kind of inserted their authority and kind of showed the alpha male side, we thought, okay, these are the type of people that can head this ship, this lost ship that we are, and uh, call us to attention. So that's they have that kind of leadership rule written all over them. That's why we chose them because we felt like they can take charge as the head of house for the first week and that's why we voted for them last question big brother asked them before they ended up their diet session was about the head of house and since they voted better and mbadiwe twins won the head of house how do they feel about the mbadiwe twins as head of house and they said well that mbadiwe twins are doing okay 
and that they are listening to every housemaid, each and every person in that housemaid, which is 26 housemates. And they've taken time to listen to each and every one of them. And they commend their ability to do that and their ability to serve the people and be for the people. But they have issues with them. And Big Brother was like, okay, what is that issue that you have with the Mbadiwe twins? They were like, the issue I have with the Mbadiwe twins is not actually my fight. It is what they did to the other housemate that I have issues with. So Big Brother was like, okay, specify more. What is that thing that happened that you are not happy with? What is that bot that I sense in your tone? They started narrating everything that the, the custodians has narrated during their diary section where they felt like the Mbadiwe twins didn't show their face. We are kind of disrespectful to them when they all got into the house. Was not a being friendly, but immediately they won the custodian challenge. The Mbadiwe twins rushed them, gone to them, became uh, but became buddies became besties and then for them it doesn't show loyalty it doesn't show loyalty because if this housemate hadn't won that custodian challenge you guys wouldn't have bonded with them but because you saw that they won the custodian challenge you guys went on and started becoming besties started uh, developing a friendship with them which doesn't speak loyalty and i cannot say okay at the end of the day this is a game this is a game after watching the whole diary session and Big Brother made them farewell. But they also complained about the code. And Toyo Sin asked Big Brother if he can provide her with medicine because she's having a little bit of headache. If Big Brother can provide her medicine, and Big Brother said no problem, she, he will look into that. But uh, what I have to say, my thought exactly about their diary session is it was good, it was okay. They shared their thought, they shared their opinion, which is what the diary room is meant for. The fight they are picking with the Mbadiwe twins in favor of Dindine is a no no. I'm not in favor of that fight. You see, one thing with this housemate is they, in the moment they learn that this is a game and that everybody is everybody is entitled to play the game the way they see fit. At the end of the day, they are vying for 100 million naira. Nobody will give you 100 million naira by being good or by being polite. No. If you need 100 million naira, you have to struggle, you have to fight for it. So, anyway, the Mbadiwe sees it fit. That is how they are fighting. The only thing you need to do is improve on your strategy and counter the way they are fighting. That is the only thing I have to say about their diet section. And then guys, with that said, subscribe, comment. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And don't forget, leave us a like. I'll appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.